Um, my name is Megan DeRosiers. I work for the Coastal Conservation League. And um, many of you know that we did a lot of work to try and um, notify the public about this meeting. And so I thank you all for coming, both those for the project and, and the post to it, because I think it's very important that we hear from everybody. Um, I'm here tonight to kind of boil it down for everybody. What we're all here tonight, what people opposed to the road project and in favor of it, what I'm hearing, at least from people who have spoken, is that everybody pretty much agrees that we need to fix John Miles roads. We need to make them safer. The question that we need to ask is, is the Cross Island Expressway the way to do it? Um, so we're all talking about safety. We need to make John Miles roads safer. How do we do it? I'm telling you, the answer is not by building a new road. It's not by abandoning the unsafe roads that people are going to drive no matter what, but it's by fixing the roads that we have, using the funding that we do have available through the half cent sales tax. There is a significant portion of funding that, that we all voted for out of that $1 billion that goes to repaving, it goes to adding shoulders, it goes to enhancing the road system that we have. Let's allocate some of that money to fixing river, to fixing Bohicken. Let's figure out where those accidents are occurring on river and Bohicken and the other roads that everybody's concerned about. And let's fix those places and make those places safer for those people that are always going to drive river and Bohicken. That road that, that um, is being proposed, the Cross Island Expressway Go Road, not everybody's going to drive that road. It's not going to drain all of the traffic off of river and Bohicken. Let's face it, people are talking about one, maybe two, maybe three interchanges for people to get off of that road. What about people who are traveling locally on John's Island? They're not going to take that road. It's not going to get them home at night. It's not going to get them to their jobs in the morning. People are still going to travel both in and River Road. If we spend the money to build that Cross Island Expressway, we are not going to be fixing River and Bohicken Road. And the people who live on John's Island are going to continue to drive in unsafe conditions. So. Let's make the roads that we have safer. Let's enforce the speed limit. I know somebody said it's impossible to do it. We did it on Highway 17 through the Ace Basin, and it helped. So let's do that. And finally, what I want to say too is we need to respect the residents of John's Island. That is what we need to do first and foremost. I'm glad we're having this public hearing tonight because that respects the citizens of John's Island. through the middle of John's Island is not a way to respect John's Island residents. Making them pay to drive on a safe road does not respect the residents of John's Island. First and foremost, I'm glad